everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kylie the Groomer and we will be grooming Coco. We groom pets here. Dogs, sometimes cats, whatever else we come across. Coco here, I believe is a toy poodle. I was wondering if she's cavoodle because she's got that very cute cavoodle face, but I don't know. Just toy poodle. Just toy, straight toy poodle. Um, she's a bit big to be a toy poodle. No, she's not, she's tiny. Yeah, she's about the same size as Jude. Okay, maybe. So we're pretty matted. Just um, fairly well, it's all the way through. Oh no. <laughs> so we're just gonna take it all off. Where's um, the lump, huh? Did you get brushed? I don't think she gets brushed. It's, her oh, hair's oh. not that long, so it doesn't look like she's been not groomed for a yeah, long yeah. time, but she definitely hasn't been brushed. Oh, that might be my other owner. Yeah. No? That's pulling a lot, isn't it? Yeah. This always happens. I do a live stream and then the next dog's like a super matted one. Maybe it's a good omen though because um, our, videos, <laughs> our videos do well. Alright. Oh, she's itchy. She might have fleas. Oh, I'll give her a good scratch after this. I see this a lot when they have got fleas, but I don't see any fleas yet. So that's all grass. Yeah. Bits of bark and dirt and stuff. She's an interesting colour. I guess this would be a champagne coat. Very pretty. Would love to grow it out. Jude's an apricot. Our toy poodle dude. Yep. Champagne would be gorgeous. Actually, is it apricot or apricot? Apricot. Apricot. I, th I, don't know why. I wanted a cream <laughs> po toy poodle originally. A, white one. a cream white. Yep. Um, just so that I could play around with hair dye, but. Jude was light, pretty light, apricot. That does, that works. Although sometimes these blues look green. So I'm just very carefully peeling, we are just peeling this poodle. If she's anything like Jude, she loves a good scratch. Just peel her right open, get this little coat off her. This, um, if the hair was brushed out and healthy, it would all just fall away strand by strand. Uh, it's not right. supposed to come off as a fleece coat. Like I'm shearing a sheep. That's why I call it peeling a poodle. Oh, so cute. I'm trying to stick with the seven because uh, the ten is quite short on a poodle. A well-maintained coat can get quite thick, but when they're not well-maintained, they tend to be a little bit thin for a ten. Gonna give a really good scratch after this. It's really just going for it in one sh one sheet, isn't it? Okay. She seems very well behaved, so this will be a pretty quick. So is this the first time she's been thrust into this salon with me? Pushed and thrusted around by a purple-haired little girl with a big scary set of clippers. Yes, it's true. It's her first time. Yeah. With I could have me. Just said we got her first time. It's yeah, that's okay. Don't, don't get comfy with me. Gonna reach under here. Oh, she's got big nipples. Yeah. She's very tiny. It's okay. I know. I know. Just checking things out, making sure everything's operating smoothly. Hello. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I reckon, oh, is that a tail? Okay, yeah, I was looking for a little vulva so that I didn't. Sometimes, um, especially if they've had puppies, they get quite big dangly vulvas, even on a tiny little puppy. Big worn out one. Ew, you've got to be careful. It's true, that's what it is, but you do need to be very careful of them. Can I turn you around, Coco? Oh, good girl. She's very placid. She reminds me a little bit of Harriet. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen Harriet's groom, check, oh, check that out. In that one. Like that I don't think she's got fleas, I think she's probably just got a fair yeah. amount of skin irritation from all the debris trapped yeah. underneath that coat. No, I haven't really seen fleas either. Our other dog is going to get picked up any minute now, so just keeping an eye out for that. I wonder what they think. I don't know. I do think that they generally just get used to being groomed. Yeah, she's been groomed before. Absolutely. Oh yeah, definitely. She's oh, not, she... I don't think she's young. 
this, her body and everything feels like a bit of an older girl's body. Really? Yeah. Well, I wonder what the story is then. Because yeah. somebody would have groomed her, but who? Not me. Maybe they heard about the infamous Kylie the Groomer. Could have done. That's been happening more often, oh, which yeah. is so weird. People know who I am. You're more famous than I am, which is a bit weird. I mean, I'm not a person with a huge amount of friends and stuff. I've got a, a small inner circle of like one best friend. Me. <laughs> yeah, you mean me, don't you? Uh, I oh, mean you. It's you. You love me. I do love you. You know, we have to have an episode where we just say nothing but absolute sweet, lovely things to well, each other. Well, that's been this, the case so far. It's very unusual for us. Instead of the marital, <laughs> marital banter. Squabbling. Marital squabbling. Marital <laughs> squabbling, as Gretchen, no, stop that. As Gretchen says. Stop saying No, no, that. I really like Gretchen, don't no, I like Gretchen. She's awesome, right? She's brilliant. If you don't like marital I like, squabble. I like anyone who comments on the videos, anything they have to say, I think they're Listen, awesome. You, we really appreciate it. Okay. If you don't like marital squabble, uh, just continue to watch all of our videos all the way through Without and then sound. and then tell no just tell me about it in the comments how much you don't like it I want to hear that yeah. or you could just turn the sound off no, well it, it still counts as views you have to watch every single video though oh, what's that oh my god she's so cute she's adorable right I feel bad that I'm not gonna be able to give her an adorable little teddy bear face oh. Beautiful. Maybe you could start and then suggest to the owner that we can... Um... I think her face is actually very matted underneath that adorable little face. No, I'm saying for the next groom. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh... Yeah, if um, you worked with your groomer, you can grow out these it's coats. Such a, such a little squishy. So cute. I've got another little Coco who's in a full little poodle poodle do. Oh, really? Yeah. She's got her little poodle feet shaved out and an adorable little top knot. She's old, so her top yeah. knot's not very top poofy. Poofy? It's not very poofy. Her hair's quite thin and whatever happens when you get old. Uh, but it's pretty cute. There's a bit of a bit of poop around the back over here. Is there? Lovely. Oh. Uh, you should so, make, start making wool. Uh, not with this kind of... Make poodle jumpers. So we can see that that's all kind of just stuck itself together. And this is the side that's to the skin. Who's that? And, is that um, you? Well, you don't want that for your doggy, guys. We don't want that. It's a grass and... It traps in moisture, debris. It doesn't let the skin breathe and so, air out. What um, What was Harriet? Harriet. She was, she was a Cavoodle, a cavoodle so a cavalier right. cross poodle. This is toy poodle. I can see now. Yeah. Now that she's... Like, say back and smaller. The Cavaliers are a little, that, sorry, the Cavoodle cross between the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the Toy Poodle. They're just a little, they generally come out just a little bit more robust in their stature. It's a bit chunkier, a bit more to them. Toy Poodles are literally like little rats that got to be dogs. Uh, rats a bit of a, can we say mouse? Okay, but I like rats. Rat is, uh, mouse, I like mouse rats. Mouse is a little bit more of a, a nice term. I like rats. rats I'm not saying rats. it mean. It's just a tiny, frail little body that. That rat is the Robertson. I don't think so. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. So you are tiny little squeaky little mouse. Okay, mice that got to be dogs. Squeaky little mouse. Anyways, I, the yeah. point I'm making is they got these tiny little frames and they're, they're so delicate and. Yeah. You have to be careful with them. But they know that too. That's why Jude doesn't oh see the covers. Jude is so dramatic if he bumps into something. He bumped. He, he turned around and ran the other day yep. playing with one of the boys. Yep. And he bumped his head into a cardboard box that was on the floor. <laughs> and the box moved. He and didn't he even screamed. like. He did. He, he did his he kept screaming. Scream. He screamed. Look, we're talking about a dog. So, <laughs> that sort of sound, right? Oh, goodness. Um, well, one time he got stuck in he a got coat hanger. Stuck in a coat hanger. A plastic coat hanger. The triangle of the coat hanger. He. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up inside of it. Oh, no. <laughs> so his front legs went through. So his front legs on one side and his back legs on the other. And the coat hanger was just standing up like this. <laughs> and he's running through the house. Oh, my goodness. Screaming. I couldn't even catch him. He was traumatized. <laughs> so oh, we don't leave God. coat hangers lying around anymore. <laughs> That's the story of the coat hanger. Jude yeah. and the coat hanger. 
So Jude is pretty much one of these. He's a toy poodle. And he would have been about this size when he got trapped in a coat hanger. <laughs> uh, he was small. He was pretty young. I think it's only about um, maybe three months old then. Yeah. He did get stung by a bee once too. Oh, right on his face, yeah. No, that was on his oh, back. On his back. It yeah, took me though. ages to find the stinger as well. But we got it and got it out. It's because he, um, his trap door. His trap door? To go outside. His doggy door. The doggy door. <laughs> his trap door. Um, <laughs> to the mystical place of outside. Outside. So he, um, what is it again? Doggy door. His doggy door. His doggy door uh, had, has a bit of light near it, or from the inside, because the room's internally illumin illuminated, and it was attracting bees to the glass. And so when the sun went down at night time, the bees would stay there and one was on the ground near the doggy door outside and he thought he'd explore and see what it was and then it stung him stung him on the back <laughs> oh he was so sad oh, man. and he was really sore for a couple of days after that too i felt awful for him i gotta say though a lot of time when he's screaming and running through the house it's boy who cried wolf he's very dramatic I, I didn't know that dogs could be that dramatic until we got dudes. Oh, I see a lot of dogs. And everything. dogs can be dramatic. I'm going to shave your face and see how cute you are. I'm sure there's a cute little muffin underneath. I'm going to have a good look and see if we can't do a teddy face or save the ears before I shave it off. Okay. Just like dudes, I don't let you do the feet. Okay, you can put that down now. <laughs> there we go. They're so, They're so dramatic. But they are, and so delicate, and I love them. You can see why you won one there. Is that, <laughs> have you, so before you got Jude, had you groomed toy poodles and uh, I want one of these? Uh, what made you get Not Jude? really, no. Okay, so I wanted a small wee little dog. I love cat, like, cavoodles. Even though, um, you know, like groomers are not supposed to support crossbreeds and whatever. Okay, so a Cavoodle is not a breed. It's a made up name for a crossbreed of dogs. Blah, 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 blah. But they are super freaking cute, right? Yeah. As far as designer dogs go, um, the Cavoodle breed is actually a Ooh, freaking adorable. Designer dogs, huh? Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be an advocate for protecting the genetic makeup and stuff like that. So I'm not saying that you should, but Cavoodles are really cute. Uh, but I did want a purebred dog. That was something that was important to me if I was going to spend a lot of money, was to have a genetically sound purebred dog. So you got a toy poodle? So I got a toy poodle. But a toy poodle is not purebred. Yes it is. No. What? It's a toy cross with a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see that coming? Hello, come right. on in. Okay, bye bye. Sorry guys, I'm Ooh, not that you would know. Should have changed the battery. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Managed the whole river and mm. footy. Very cool. Alright, I'll grab that. So, she's quite matted just in here. But she's got quite big little nipples and things to be careful of, so. Yeah. She's got a very poor. I didn't realise that boy dogs had nipples until. That is so funny. Well, I've never had a boy dog, ever. Like, I've always had girl dogs. Like, I've always had boy dogs too. Through... <laughs> what? No, I said I've always had boy dogs, no, I've girl never dogs had... too. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, but, yeah. When you discovered that boy dogs have nipples, like... it's the funniest conversation I've ever had. Yeah, but okay, I, I understand maybe they have two, but not like the same number. <laughs> it's useless. <laughs> They don't do anything. Nipples are useless on male humans also. I know, but I didn't realise, I didn't think about it, did I? I guess you didn't. Clearly you Well, didn't. no one else thought about it. I bet you there's people in the chat going, yeah, that's weird. Okay, so I did Google that question out of curiosity to see if it came up straight away. Yeah. I typed in, do male dogs, and then it came up straight away, have nipples. <laughs> so you're not alone. Yeah, they're not needed, so that's the thing, that's what's surprising, you don't need them. They're definitely not needed, uh, but beyond that I've got no yeah. other I suppose what here. else would you put there, right? Exactly. I mean, I mean God have had a whole bunch of elbow skin left lying oh around, goodness, so... I don't think you should finish that sentence. So, he just makes, made a few bunch of nipples 
He goes, oh, I'll just make a loop, a little, okay. little loop. Stuff it. Let's give the guys nipples too. Give all the boys nipples. Yeah, we've got all this elbow skin left over. And he also made a bunch of little wee bags too. Uh-huh. No, I knew that's where you were going with that. Okay, I'm going to stop there though. Thank you. I'll leave it to everyone's imagination. I knew you were going to get there. Well, better than carrying it around in our hand. Do you know what's worse? Like, oh goodness, she's got little poppy bones. You gotta be so careful. Are you alright with that? I'm being very careful when I'm moving her. Um, just for fear that I might hurt one of her joints. Because she's yeah, very right. clicky. Clicky? Oh, yeah. Well, because she's old. Yeah. Or, oh, I don't know. She's just very clicky bones. I've been, the whole time you were talking to your customer, you're sitting there scratching, scratching her. Did she love it? Yeah, she loved it. We're best mates now. Because technically I've given her the best scratch she's had in, in weeks and weeks and weeks. I reckon this dog would be best mates with every person she meets, pretty much. No, you're not saying that. No, I'm having, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, having my moment. I take that back. It is... Uh, you can't okay. take away my moment. That we How share. rewarding is it? when a dog befriends you. Doesn't it feel good when it's a unreal, dog chooses yeah. you? Yeah. Right? I always wondered, I was thinking the other day, like why am I so obsessed with dogs liking me? When I see a dog, I'm like, that dog's gonna be my friend. If I go to somebody's house, I'm like, I'm the person that's always playing with the dog. It's meaningful. It is so rewarding when a dog chooses you. They don't have to choose you. If they choose you, it's rewarding. Well, my dad's dog, Monty, chooses yeah. me. Does he? But I think it's not because of anything else other than the fact that I look very and behave very, very similar to my father. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost my father. You are a mini version of your dad. Is that a broken tail or something? Uh, oh, no, it's just no, a little, it's just, um, yeah, little, maybe there. A little piggy tail. <laughs> no. It's, it definitely has a little it's unusual stuck in the kink door. in it. Did you get your tail caught in the door? Okay, let's have a look what I think about this face. Oh, it's a bit cool in here for her. Uh, you can, the controller's up She's there. She's shivering. I'll just turn it off, yeah? Oh, you can. <sighs> Off we go. Mr. Sometimes Fugitive. this um, poodle coat type is hard to tell. Sometimes when you just give it a really good wash, you can get a lot sorted out with it. There's going to be a lot of brushing there. I'm just... It's not really matted. I don't know. Not... Well, if they're doing brushing, they, that's where they're going to do it, isn't it? It's more like she's just gotten really wet and then not been brushed after. And... Everything's gone to poop. If I can just so when some... you're saying um, teddy bear face, but even though the, the customer did say just shave it all off. Oh no, she said save what you can. Oh, save what you which can. Which was really funny. Okay, well that's lucky because I thought she said shave it all off. Because you can see like where her last groom has given her a cute little teddy flu. Teddy face. It's yeah. obviously grown out, but. I mean, you could see in her body, I had no choice but to shave yeah. that off. That was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but I feel like we can do a short teddy. That's what I was trying to ascertain. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. A short teddy? A short teddy. So you can't get these comb attachments through matted hair because you it needs to be able to get underneath yeah. this much hair to get through. Yeah. Which is why we shave them because mm -hmm. you can't get anything underneath. Like this, you, you see the difference. The it has to get underneath of the mat. Yeah. So my chances of getting this through is going to be much quicker than and easier than that. Sorry. And quicker. less painful for the pup. Oh yes. So. There you go. Uh uh. uh. Yeah. He's been cautious, not, not to pull. Get put some artistic ability into this one. Yeah, I've been a shave down queen ever since spring started. Yep. I think our subscribers are getting a little bit bored with all your shave down. Probably except for Harry and Buster. Harry and Buster were They've gone well, nuts. They're very very good videos. A bit sad for me. Yep. I don't like a sad story, but uh, well, we share them because it's awareness for people, new pet owners, people considering getting a dog. Oh, look at you. Just to know the repercussions of um, if you if you don't brush it, if you're a very busy person, don't get a doggy with hair, please. 
just reinvent it not found before you go to sleep. Getting a quick brushing time all over. Even if your husband tells you you're mean for brushing the dog. I, I <laughs> never. No? No. Are you sure? No. I reckon I've heard you say it once or twice. Uh, but then you swiftly spun around and Remind gave you me of... a whole lecture and then I'm like, oh, I don't want yeah, to hear that. Yeah, look at all the matted dogs that I see. I don't want to hear that Imagine again. our dog looking like that. That, that mental note, don't say that ever again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good girl. So yeah. I reckon with a good wash, we can probably maybe do a short teddy. Yeah, we'll do um, it. Just getting rid of the, cleaning up the rest of the neck a little. Just because it's tricky to dry in this area later on. So the yeah. less hair that's there, the less I've got to dry, the less she's got to tolerate. I don't think I've got the teeth in it. Oh, is it that still? time already? Oh, yeah, pretty close. Good golly. Sorry, I'm taking up all of your day today. Well, uh, we're going to grow our channel. Yeah, it literally has been all day today. It has. We're growing our channel. We're, we're getting more subscribers. We'll start to uh, make a bit of income from YouTube, and then I can pay you to be here with the camera. You can pay me. Is that how it's going to work, is it? <laughs> right. We so, can pay you. <laughs> so what they what they really don't know is um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Kylie, the the groomer, is really you just cutting and grooming dogs. That's it. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, no creative input. There's... Look at this little fleef on the top of her little head. <laughs> That's not the scissors I wanted. Can to you see? Yeah. Let's get that off there a little bit. Oh, I missed all that. Can you do it again? I was I was too busy looking. Have you got the craggle? And the camera was somewhere else. The kids watched Lego Movie last night. The craggle. The craggle. The, the kraken. No, the craggle. It's the glue. Never mind. I don't think it's the craggle. Yeah, it's called the craggle. No. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and the piece of resistance is the craggle glue lid. Sorry, I hope I'm not giving it away for anybody. No. How Lego old is that movie like now? 2008 or something. Yeah. No, it's not. Actually, probably 2012, something. Oh, hello Pretty in old. there. All right, I'm going to run a bath for this doggie. Or should I do a sanitary a little bit? We'll do that real quick. Then I'll run her a bath. You can go get the squidlets <laughs> and I'll finish You're up so this You're so fluffy. Cream. Look at you. You're starting to be cute. You weren't very cute before. Okay, she was cute, no, she but was in, cute. in a like, oh my goodness, look at her. It's okay. Not all the tail is there. Yeah, that's okay. Put your tail out of there. I did try to do most of it the other way. I just pick up some of these little misfits. Got very delicate little skin too. They're literally just along for the ride, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mum wants you to look pretty so you can sleep in the bed tonight. I wonder if she has been sleeping in the bed. You'll be surprised. Couldn't be sleeping in my bed. Too dirty. You'll be you would be surprised. Can't oh, remember. So... <laughs> Her face is so freaking cute. That'd be awesome when you're done. She would be super cute when you're finished. Yeah, Jude was a little bit smelly the other day, and I stayed up late to give him a quick wash, a bath, and blow dry. Ruin his life? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, on the first night, I was like, oh, this dog is smelly. On the second night, I was like, whoa, I really need to bath this dog. On the third night, I was like, nope, I am bathing the dog and changing the sheets before I go to bed. Yeah. Even though it was like, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. Yep. But he sleeps in the bed whether we want him to or not, so. Yeah, you can't stop that. Oh, I've hair badly up my nose. Here, use my tummy. Oh, thank you. Your tummy's covered in hair and it's very <laughs> hard. <laughs> my tummy's hard. That's Terry Coco. He's mm. weird. My six pack. Yes, a six pack of sausage rolls. So. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go run a bath for this doggy dog. I'll meet you guys Actually, over there. Actually, it'll be Mrs. Kitchen. It is Mish's Kitchen in there today. Mish's Kitchen noodles. 
Um, I'm going to blow my nose because it's really tickling me, my and nose. we'll see you at the bath. Let's watch you blow. You're not nose. watching me blow my nose. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to see her blow her nose? Put no, it in the comments. Nobody wants to see that. Thank you. Put in, put in the, the comments. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Good day. You can turn that off now. Thank honk, you. Honk, honk. <laughs> okay. One little paparino in the bath. I put some de shedding shampoo and my everyday ugh, pink shampoo in there. I'm not sure how Little Muppet here is going to handle it. I'm wearing my smock, thank you. I don't know who sent it to me yet, but if it's you, you need to tell me. Came in the mail. I did blow my nose. I feel better. toy poodle, that thin little uh, muzzle there. I was, it's hard to tell because she's got so much hair and they're really thick hair, um, if she had a chunkier face or not. That's what was throwing me off. Everything else, toy poodle. But now that she's wet, I can see, definitely toy poodle. I'm just gonna get a bit of um, sensitive shampoo, if I can find it, this one. Just because it's a bit kinder on their eyes if I get it in there. I try not to, but with these tiny babies, it's a bit tricky. I just really want to give this a good wash. If we're trying to save this hair, we want to make sure it's super clean. And that our skin gets a good wash underneath. Yeah, sorry, baby. Thank you. I am loving this smock. My belly's not wet. Thank you so much. Enjoying that, is it nice? Husband's gone to get some work done, I guess, before he goes and gets the kids. Poor fella, he's been helping me out all day. Every week he's been with me on a Wednesday for hours, probably four or five hours, um, running my live streams, which are going really well. I was so nervous about doing live streams, I really didn't know how that would go. Fresh water, and when I fill up a tank on this side with shampoo and a 
and it goes around with a, a water pump and that nice soaking water comes out. My hose is adjustable for um, pressure so I can put it on like a jet for de-shedding my big dog and I can make it a lighter spray for these little babies that <laughs> don't need to be blown away. Um, I just recently got this new nozzle as well, so I can really change the flow there. Uh, but it is just a garden hose sprayer from the hardware store. I like this one. My other one I had to hold the nozzle and I was getting um, a lot of wear on my hands. So this one you just click it in and off. That is awesome. My hands are feeling a lot better. I was get, really getting fatigued with the deep shedding more than anything. There's some really cool nozzles you can get that are dog grooming specific. Um, they are super cool, but they're also super expensive. So for example, this one that I can put it onto a jet mode um, is $30. And a de-shedding nozzle from another company that's dog specific, it's like $300, you guys. $300 nozzle. I would love to give it a go um, to see how awesome they work. I reckon it would be better than my $30 garden sprayer nozzle. But in saying that, um, uh, if you're a long time viewer, you know I've got four kids. This is my own home grooming salon. It's a small business. I'm not about to throw $300 on a nozzle that might be pretty good for de-shedding dogs. You weigh things up. Maybe one day, but right now, no, it's a no. So I'm just getting my table ready real quick to pop her on with a warm tent. Get all that old hair off there for you, my love. Put a bath mat. Towel. And I've got a collection of chairs here I don't need. In part, thanks to my lovely husband, who was sitting on one of them. Put you guys over here, can you see? Drop it down. There we go. And I'll go fetch myself an adorable little puppy. As far as equipment goes, I'm always going to want something else. There will always be something better um, and always be something that I want to try. But sadly, I have to be a responsible parent and not spend all of the money I earn on buying more things for the salon. Um, in my first year of owning, so I started out in a mobile franchise business. In my first year of the franchise, I was frantically trying to pay all the fees and um, business fees associated with owning a franchise. And then in my second year of grooming dogs, I opened this salon and that was an absolutely massive expense to build this area that we have, um, which is salon specific. I'm not in my kitchen, which I get asked all the time. <laughs> Definitely not in my kitchen, guys. Um, we, we had a shed that we've purpose built um, and filled in for the salon. I had to buy everything from scratch. 
and it was huge but so so worth it so now i'm let's see one two three four i'm in my fifth month sorry i've done one year and i'm in the fifth month of my second year in this salon uh, so i've burdened my family enough last year with <laughs> crazy expenses i'm really trying to cut down the you know additional new equipment expenses this year i the next thing on my list that's a big purchase is a fluff dryer a wall mounted fluff dryer which is oh i don't know off the top of my head maybe between a thousand maybe about a thousand dollars i did look at options for a new bath but um the electricity is fine the power is fine but for water um for plumbing and water and heating the water that's i don't have a hot water service so i need a heater built in um oh, darling what are you doing there we go yeah i need to have a heater built in to the bath and i prefer a hydro bath over a um fresh water because i like that it, it does get the dogs really super duper clean um it's not as labor intensive with hand washing and scrubbing dogs down although i do scrub some real dirty dogs off you go there we go but yes hydro bath works for me and my setup so i need to stick with that theme um but mine's quite low i hurt my back a bit sometimes with little doggies all right let's blow dry this baby and husband will put some nice music on for you all <laughs>
beauty. <coughs> I love this smock. How good is it? I love it. I am warm in here though. I think I need to adjust my air conditioner. Oh, this is made out of pool material. Uh, polyurethane something, something, something. They use it in cloth nappies for babies, modern cloth nappies. Awesome stuff. I really, really tried to find an apron or something made out of this stuff and I could not find one. So this is very cool. I did on and off use cloth nappies for my kids. On and off being sometimes I did not keep up with the washing and it was not ideal. When I did keep up with the washing, it was awesome. gonna get my air conditioner going. Okie dokie, we have cooled down a little bit in here. It got a bit, it got pretty hot in here. Um, we're kind of, we're in spring, which is in between winter and summer. There's a very short spring where I live. It's either really freaking hot or really bloody cold. And um, well, the weather currently, we're having an extraordinary amount of rain, as some of you know, more than usual. And it is really cold overnight. really really cold overnight and sometimes it's still cold here in the morning when I get into the salon and then it just gets really hot really quickly in the afternoon right before it gets bloody cold again thank you get lovely good girl I have another doggy here soon too. I need to get a wriggle on. It's taking too long. Try boxing with my husband. I adore my husband. I have to say that. Um, he's a funny fellow. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Some of my videos, he's a bit chatty. But I think as we've progressed, you guys, um, especially our OGs, or the Minions, as Dale's now named them, <laughs> in our last live stream, um, you guys have really gotten to know us and understand us and our banter or marital, marital squabbles, as they've come to be known. That's just us. He's a good man, though. <coughs> I just checked my um, Patreon because uh, we did do a live stream this morning and we always mention our Patreon there and our lovely Patreon um, contributors, which it just blows my mind that even anybody signed up, but how exciting. Um, we have eight. Now I just saw another one. I haven't replied yet or sent a message to thank them, uh, but I can see it in my notifications on my phone. Somebody has joined and pledged $10 a month. That is awesome. So awesome. So our Patreon, um, we, we do um, free grooms and things like that for dogs in need. And we have raised some funds for that, which is totally awesome. So through Super Chats and Super Thanks. Um, or Super Stickers. And so, so, so cool. Our Patreon is set up to help uh, support us financially. Because my poor dear husband... I, like I'm working and earning my regular income while we do this, uh, but he is not. He is out here um, handling the cameras, setting up live streams, recording some of my grooms. He's taking time away from his paid employment to support this little adventure that I started. And so that's what our Patreon's set up for, to help us to take some time off our, our, um, our paid employment, our usual employment, and put into continuing to grow our channel and do what we do. So it's super duper cool. Although I post a few things on Patreon, uh, there's not a huge amount of special content that's only available. Not at the moment, we have plans to grow that, but at the moment, uh, you guys are just kind of helping us find our feet in the world of content creation. And yeah, what, what is it now? Not eight people, so cool. So, so, so cool. That's gonna make it, um, I mean, at, at eight people, it's not a huge difference, but it gives us a few hours to take you know, to take off and focus on, on YouTube. And I, I do adore my husband and I'll tell you why. He adores me. 
who tolerates me, puts up with me. I am crazy, you guys. I do have to tolerate him too. He's also equally crazy. But um, right now, he's picking the kids up from school and he takes them to school every morning. He gets up before me. He's the morning person. I'm not a morning person at all. I'm the night person. He gets up, he gets the kids organized and off to school while I'm rosy on out to my salon. I help a little bit sometimes. He's a good, he's a good egg. He'll take him to sport. He takes Abby to Girl Guides every Monday. Somehow he still earns more money than me. <laughs> but he's a good egg. And I really do adore him. He's funny. He's creative and imaginative and wild. He loves costumes. He loves anything that makes people laugh. He loves music. We don't love the same music because we come from a different generation. With him being 10 years older than me, we definitely do not love the same music. <laughs> Whoever gets to be in charge of the radio in the car is the lucky one. Oh, mister, you've got to let me do these legs. Must be the day for not having your legs touched. Okay? It's okay. Don't, don't get cranky with me. Don't get cranky with me. So with her face all washed and blow dried out, and um, I haven't brushed it yet, but you can tell already, she's not, um, she's not a neglected dog. She definitely has regular grooming. Not by me, I haven't groomed her before. Um, judging by the, the shape of her face and everything, I think I know who her regular groomer is or who has previously groomed her. Um, another lady who's an awesome lady. She's a brilliant groomer as far as the results. I see lots of the doggies that she grooms getting around. Uh, and occasionally if she's um, unwell or off for any reason, I've picked up a couple of her doggies for a, just a one-time groom. Super cute. She has a lot of years experience, more than me. But I can definitely see that she's she's had plenty of grooming in her life. Uh, so I'm not sure why she's here. Maybe they can get a spot with the regular groomer. Maybe they've just had some tough times financially or time-wise or whatever. Family, health, who knows. Uh, but this doggie is, you can tell that she's a love doggie and definitely been groomed. Just not sure what happened in between this one and the last one, hey. We'll see. We'll see if she comes back again. You never, <laughs> you never know with these things. You never know if they're going to come back again. Uh, my style of grooming is a little bit different to the other groomer as well um, and it's not for everyone I guess they some people prefer different styles or results it's pretty normal but that's the thing like it's artistic grooming everybody puts their own little spin on things and you can copycat definitely um, but sometimes the hands just do what the hands do Sorry, honey. Just teasing out some of those light little tangles. Like I said, when sometimes when you wash the hair and give it a good blow dry, you find that it's not actually matted. Her body was definitely matted. You guys saw that fleece, the way it came off, but her face was not too bad at all. Some tangles, yes. A couple of little mats here in this one side, but a really deep shampoo and a good rinse, maybe a little bit of conditioner. It does the trick. Hello! Hi, husband. Look at this fleecy little face. Oh. It's a bit wiry, isn't it? Have you done it? Yeah. I haven't trimmed it yet. All right. I just, just brushed it out. Just brushed it out. I was going to say. <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? I'm saying, um, I hate, I don't want to 
burst your bubble, but it doesn't look like you've done anything. Are they my adorable children? Hello, uh, Abster. Can I see? Oh, you little. want to see the wee? The wee? Oh. Bring it over here. Whoa. Were you expecting it to be like that? No, I didn't well, expect it. Well, weeds do grow that fast. Be careful with that. Here's Jordan. Jordan. Isn't she adorable? Look it's at Jordan. She Hello. is tiny. All right, leave her be. What's with her body? Why is she so... No, no. It's a toy poodle. She's tiny. What's that for? Breathing. Oh, ah, well done. Hello, rascally rabbit. Hey, Mom. Hey. How's the sound, Dad didn't pick it up. <laughs> Dad didn't pick it up. She said she was walking Ah, away. okay. All right. Did you talk to him? Are you ready? Yeah. No. What? Do you want to feel like So this? what is it? All right. well, so it's away. wheat, but it's going to take a long oh, time to grow. And then what, what do you do with it after? You, uh, you can peel the weed out and you can just give it to someone. Okay, if you, you can give it to someone. Right, do you want to keep the weed? What do you do with the wheat? Love I don't know. You, can, you peel it out. Can I give it to you? Okay. Wait. So what does wheat become? It becomes into wheat and and you can you grind it and then you get the seeds and then you and you make and you turn it into the actual thing so you can make spirit and then you crush it up. You know the thing that you, we have in the kitchen, the the flour. it turns into flour. But when you before it turns into flour, you have a bowl and a crusher that you crush it up. A mortar and pestle. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and then oh, it okay. turns into the flour, mm -hmm. and then you can make bread with it. Very mm. good. And you can make cereal. Yeah. Now what was that again? No. <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. cut. Jump cut. Okay, well, I love you guys very much, but I need to groom this doggy because my next one's no Abigail. I don't know why. No, off you go, right back. Go on. There you go. Let mommy do her job. This doggy, no, leave her be. Oh, give me a hug. Okay. I don't care about that. Covered with hair now. Yeah. I don't care. She's okay. so, like, shy. No, 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 no. Her face is near doggies. Off you go. Love you. Bye, my doggy. Bye. Where's Jedimus? Inside. He just went straight to what he wanted to do, didn't he? Yeah, computers. Computer games. But I really just come out here to see if you'd finished yet. Have I finished yet? Don't know what's taking you so long. It's right, isn't it, Coco? I should hurry up and be faster. But now that you've brushed all the hair, sitting up nicely, you can style it better. So fluffy. Yeah. So the thing is, is that with all of this hair, I could do a nice big fluffy teddy bear head, but it would not look right on the rest of the body that we had to do short. No. So that's why we're taking off so much. Just want it to look cute. Because, it, yeah, it's got to match the rest of the... Sadly, we have to tie it all in one way or another. So what have you been talking about while I've been gone? Well, that's interesting that you ask. I was talking about you. Just telling mm -hmm. everyone that you're a pain in the butt and you never do anything. Yeah, well. <laughs> it was actually quite the opposite, my love. I was telling everybody how much I adore you. There you went. I was. Well, I'll be watching the video back making sure. Okay. And any content that I don't like, I'll be deleting. Just cut it all out. You can do that. Put some music over the top. Yeah. See, the nose is for grabbing. The nose is for grabbing, it's true. What's going on with your ears, you now? Are you trimming them right off or back or what? Uh, I'll trim, definitely trim them. I'll have to trim them. Sorry if the air conditioner is blowing. Oh, you, oh, you can turn it off now. I no, just no. got really hot. Yeah, it got hot. really hot because it turned off. I got so, so, so hot. Just leave it. It's fine. So even though she's looking totally chill, she's fighting against my movements of her hand. Yeah. Oh, You've been a little rascally rabbit. So you don't often get the ones that are just super cute to just like happy grooms, no tears. No tears. <laughs> it's true. I can make you cry if you want. Mm, I'll be right, mate. <laughs> That's how you make Jude play. 
It is, which is very inconvenient for his grooming routine. But thank you for encouraging him to be excited when you blow get a little blow on his face. Um, I was also just saying that I don't think she's routinely um, matted like this because you can tell by her face shape that she's yeah. groomed quite nicely. And I'm pretty sure I know who her regular groomer is. Yep. Yeah. Or was. Or is still because... Yeah, you don't know. Sometimes, um, you know, I'm going away for a week next week. I can't get into this tiny little space here. Let me add it. Okay, we'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll just come back to that. How's that sound? Uh, yeah, I'm going away next week and I've had to say no to a few people. This time of year, people kind of just go to whoever can get their dog in. Yeah. Um, it is very beneficial to just have a regular scheduled groom because then you don't ever have to look for an appointment. Yeah. So keep it up too. And not, not turn up. Yes. Always turn up to your appointments, please. Oh, there's so much hair here that I have to take off to make it short and tidy. I'm just kind of getting the shape in mm -hmm. for the minute and shortening it all up. Oh, you're super cute. Which is adorable. On this side, anyway. <laughs> So this kind of look though, they, when it grows out a bit, they end up getting all the hair in their teeth and everything. They do. And you got fed up with that, so you just did the, the clean. I keep Jude in, so I do a clean face and then I let it grow out. And then when all that hair's in his mouth and stuff, I just clean face it again. And then let it grow out into a teddy again. I just kind of go round and round. Uh, she said keep what you can okay. so I'm sure she's used to quite a cute little teddy face and body but she knew that she was matted hi monkey oh it's that monkey How to walk? Sasquatch. Sasquatch she's not a Sasquatch <laughs> how's her, your hairy creature from how's your walk it was all right have a good day yeah okay did you jump on my live stream today uh, she about... forgot about it. No, didn't see her, so... Alright, right. go inside. We'll be in. We'll dad will be in soon anyway. Alright, love you. Love Bye. you too. Make sure you drink water after that walk. It's hot outside. Oh, love you. Oh, that was my tummy. I heard that. I'm not hungry though, so I don't know. No, that is the results of after you've eaten, by the sounds of it. Mm. Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She is so cute. Come here. Where are you go. going? Her hair sits a bit flat on the top though. Is that because she's older or what? Uh, it's not sitting up. Well, no, I haven't cut, um, left that much on there either. Okay. Because it was pretty, how you going? As they say. Face is just the cutest though. She's got a very nice full um, muzzle of hair. Can 
smell a picture? Uh, can you smell Jude? Because I was literally holding Jude like a minute ago. Did he enjoy his trip to school? Yep. Dude loves his trip to school. He gets so sad if I don't take him. There you go. It's okay. He sits there waiting for me in the morning. He knows. For when, it when it's time to leave on the bed, waiting for me. me to start walking out of the room. And then he boing and then runs out. Come on, darling. Come on. It's all right. I know. I don't know what he's going to do when, when kids don't go to kids school. Kids don't for, go to school. You'll have to go for a drive. For nearly three months. At 8.30 a.m. every day. You just have to go for a drive. All right. It's time to go for a drive. He loves school. School drop off. He doesn't ever get out. He just sits in the car. But that's his thing. That's his job. It's what he does. He say goodbye to the kids. And he doesn't even mind leaving you at home. No, not that's the, pretty much the only time he leaves is if um, you're going to get the kids. Yeah. There's been a couple of times he didn't leave me. He was like, oh, I'm just going to stay in bed. But yeah, I think he had regrets. Yeah, because you stayed, yeah. He had regrets. He was like, hang on. I've just oh, right. missed my He's... trip to school because of you. <laughs> he had second thoughts. Yeah. After it was already too late to decide. If I'm sick, he stays with me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that little button face. She's so cute. Can you, she's, she wants to pull that way though. She's got a, I don't know, a oh, bearing out or something. <laughs> there know. we go. See, it's me. I'm my friend. We're, we're mates now. I gave her the best scratch before. Who is right, that? Guess who this one is? Jet. Jet. My jelly man. Oh, it's jelly bugs. My jelly. Oh, it's only him. Oh, it's Jordan. It's Jordan. My butthole baby. Um. Butthole baby. <laughs> I love him. I need to ask a question. What's the question, sir? So. Is this about the money? Short version. It has something to do with money. Does what? it need to be in the middle of my YouTube video while I'm grooming a dog? Can't. Yeah, go on quickly. Anyway, what is it? So I really want to get the Lego Movie one, and it's forty-four dollars. A game. You, yeah. If okay. you buy it, I can slowly pay you back. Wait a minute. With five I bucks already bought that game for you years ago, and you finished it and played it. I did not finish it. Did you play it? Yeah, but that was when I was like two years old. And um, where is it now? Destroyed. They ruined the disc. It's not a disc. It's it was a disc. On the Xbox. The one that I want to buy. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> I don't think he liked my answer either. No, he didn't. Oh, well. I didn't say no. I said that I would discuss it with him when I wasn't working. Computer game. This doggy deserves my attention right now. I mean, my kid deserves my attention. Don't get me wrong there, but he can wait a moment. He's a spoiled little goober. He is. How's that? Does it match the rest of the body? Uh, it sucks yeah. I had to go so short, but... It's a little bit long here. You see where I pointed? Yeah. Yeah. And here. Is all this even? Mm. I think those hairs just sit. Um... They're sitting down, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I'm good if you could chuck some hairspray in it just to make sure it stays. There is doggy hairspray. Really? Yeah, definitely. Jeez. I don't think that's fair, the poor doggies. I don't want to take too much off here because, oh, golly, 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 golly. The shape that she normally has is this um, exaggerated donut yep. kind of look. The donut. And it does, it can be quite tricky to grow out if you suddenly start cutting weird triangles and stuff. So. Um, oh, I've got to stand behind you so she looks right at you. <laughs> yeah, you're making it hard for me to. She's super cute though. So cute. She's got a puppy dog face. She does. And she's not a young oh, pup. Hello. I don't know about taking so much off her ears, but um, there was the back looks like there'd been chunks cut out of it, maybe for matting. Oh, and then this was like long just on the ends. It wasn't yeah. right. So I've just evened them up a bit. It's oh, pretty cute. So cute. Coco. Now you just got to be feet. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> hi, baby. 
Aww. What's her name again? Kari Kari. Coco. She's a little bit unsure on her feet. I got that, sorry, I'm gonna put my face right in the way. I got that other one, it's a bit big for these tiny little toots. Anyway, so, you do the feet. Okay. You're gonna go do the dadding? I'm gonna go some dadding. Some working. And some work. Sorry to love you and leave you guys. Is this my lot? This isn't even my lot. I got another doggy after this one, so I do need to get a riddle on. Oh, it's not a dog, it's a cat. Oh, you got a cat. Oh, dear. <laughs> so I'll be in here later holding a cat, will I? Oh. So I thought I thought I could escape and get some work done, but no. Wednesdays are just the days, aren't they? I was telling everybody about Patreon, how it's going to help to cover some of your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patreon. And I appreciate you. <laughs> Love you. Love you. So she's got really thin hairs around her feet. And I can't teddy bear these feet with how much hair we have to take off uh, for the matting down her legs, so we'll just tidy them up a bit. It's very thin though on her legs here. And I'm just letting her hold her leg in that position. I'm not gonna pull on it in any way because I'm worried about those hips and knees there. Very knobbly, aren't they? She's so cute, you guys. I love her. I would have loved to do a full groom on you with a good coat. It would have been awesome. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay. Don't put your face near the scissors. It'll be interesting if she comes back. Sometimes when, if like this pulling away and things like that is new, some groomers who are, uh, have a very well-established business don't want to work with dogs that are less compliant. So they will make room for a dog that is more compliant and they'll just not throw you off their, their list of regulars, but they'll fire you as a, as a client really, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Which is fair enough if you've worked for a lot of years and built up um, with that kind of success. That's definitely something you can do. Personally, I'm not that phased by dogs that aren't overly compliant. I just get on with it. Even though sometimes I think, how amazing will it be if I could just fire people? <laughs> but then I think of the dogs. Who else is going to groom them? <coughs> can't, can't say no to them. I'm really trying not to hold her bo oh, bones in any awful directions. Not awful, but like not natural. She just feels very delicate to me. Sorry. Some of your nails are very long, young lady. You're definitely overdue for a good nail trim. Oh, I can't get it from that side. Stand up. Okie dokie, sorry guys, that is my next, I was going to say doggy, it's not, it's a cat. Uh, Mum was lost, <laughs> which is funny because she's lived here longer than I have. <laughs> Poor love. Uh, she doesn't live in town though, she lives quite a ways out of town and she's brought in her daughter's cat for a groom. So she's a little bit lost. Whoopsie daisies, that's alright. I, uh, I stayed on the phone with her and gave her directions. And she found her way here, and now I have a cat to groom. 
I just put my bath heater on. I'm just not a fan of bathing cats, to be honest. <sighs> not at all. Sorry, love. I know, she's got sensitive toesies, probably because these nails are so long. Um, but if my assumption that she's on the older side is correct, her quicks are quite overgrown as well. Which means you can only take so much off without making them bleed. And you don't want to make them bleed. It's not comfortable. It's a little... Um, vein or nerve it's got feelings it hurts it's unkind to do that you can you can quick them it's called quicking them to cut them right back and try and help them to uh, you know maintain them to keep much shorter i would if i were to do that and i can understand why you would want to do it because these nails when they're really long like this they're constantly on the surface they're walking on it's pushing their toes up and it's quite uncomfortable for them. So that is why you would want to do that. Um, but preventing the need for it is much more important so that you don't ever have to do that. So you can um, really help them by doing that, quicking them. You'd want to do it under sedation and in a sterile environment where you can keep that clean and tidy and not introduce any bacteria and infection and stuff like that. Definitely. Let me have a look can't really do an awful lot with these um, legs of hers. Oh, honey. I just choose to sit down while I'm holding her leg like that. Good guy. Same with her tail, really. We've kind of just cleaned up what we can. You really do have a kink in your tail. I think we're pretty much done, really. Um... It is a shame. If I could have kept a centimetre of hair on her, she would have an adorable little uh, teddy body to go with this cute little face. Her head probably looks slightly out of place for the amount of hair that's on it. Let me show you guys a good look at her little face. Come here, darling. Good girl. You're all right. What are you doing? Oh, you don't like that. Okay, that's understandable. Let's turn this around. Get cute little face. Can you see that cute little face? <laughs> what an adorable muffin. Go on, go back on the table. You are happier there. I did put her into an enclosure real quick while I was getting the, um, the kitty cat because I just don't like leaving. I don't really ever leave the dogs um, like with, out of my line of sight. I'll go from the bath to here, which is like one meter between my bath and my table. So if anything happened, like they jumped off and they were hanging by one of these straps or something, um, I'm right there. That's never happened, thankfully. Um, nothing serious like that. But those are the sorts of things that can happen and you definitely don't want that to happen. They can really hurt themselves. Um, like including unaliving themselves. And that's, that's the groomer's fault if that happens. So um, I definitely don't leave them if I'm going to walk to the front of the salon, which is again only like, I think three meters or something away. <laughs> it's a tiny salon. I would not do that. And I don't recommend it if that's sort of a number one rule for me. Never, ever, ever leave a dog unattended when they're in your salon. Not in the bath, not on the table, not even on the floor, because they might eat something they're not supposed to, like a plastic bag or get into your cleaning products or something. Um, I always put, if I'm just distracted by anything, they go straight into an enclosure. Just for a minute, and then we get them back out again. And it's easy peasy. Let's blow dry you off. Make you smell pretty. I really wish I could do more with these feet. That hair, as I said, it's super, super thin uh, and wiry. And it's, um, a lot of it's cut away because of the matting that she had in there. So that's just a, it is what it is kind of scenario. She's so cute though. Just quickly blow off some of those loose hairs that might be hanging around. I need to fill up my bottle. Hey, yeah, there we go. Now you smell so pretty. Oh, her ears, they're so short. Hey. It's a big little head for a tiny little body. <laughs> it's tied in. Considering the amount of matting she had, I'm happy with that, you guys. I'm pretty stoked. It could have just been a straight shave down, but instead we've able, been able to keep something, something cute. 
Hey. Oh, it's a cute baby. Hi, little muffin. That's a cute little donut nose you've got there. See, I've just tidied up those ears a bit, even them up a little bit. Is there a bit hanging down there? I'll have a look after. Anyway, that's it. Body's short and tidy. We had to get all that matting off, so not really any choice. And that's us done. So, my dear fur family friends, whom I love very much and appreciate you all. Uh, I probably don't say it enough. You guys are the best for sticking in here and hanging out with me. And um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time of day. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out the descriptions for links to our Amazon wish list, our Patreon, our PO box if you want to send us something in the post, um, and anything else that I can not think of right now. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time of day, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye! Bye, Coco! Bye!